This is Scott Catoon, the host of the Startup Showcase, Technori Live on WGN. Uh, our next guest, Box Scores, we've got Mike Lynch, uh, Box Score Games, sorry. Um, and we've got to make sure, first and foremost, that you pronounce everything uh, everything right for me because I can't pronounce anything right apparently today. We're, uh, we're off to a, a famous start. Uh, but you guys are working on a, a an app game right now for March Madness. If you can go into that a little bit. Yeah, so just a little bit about what we do as a company, Box Score, is we create games for uh, people to play on their phone during live sporting events. And we have this theory that's starting to you know pay off for us right now is there's this audience that's really – really underserved out there in the marketplace, and that's the casual sports fan, right? If you wanted to sign up for three fantasy football leagues on three different sites, you could do that in five minutes. There's this other group of people who still see, you know, sports as social who are watching an event for two to three hours that want to play games that are based on the real-time events. So what we're doing right now uh, throughout the tournament is we've created a game and partnered up with a couple big brands that are allowing us to kind of pilot out this game that people play uh, that are based on the real-time stats that go on through each college basketball game that's going on. Uh, so it's really kind of a fun, uh, really easy-to-play game uh, that's allowed you know people to kind of have a social fun aspect to the tournament that's different than your standard bracket games. So this is awesome because when I was a kid, I mean, when I say kid, I mean like a couple days ago, uh, I was playing video games against, you know, I play against a computer. At some point, like the online gaming thing, on like PS3 or whatever, PS4, I don't know what people are playing now, Xbox. When I play these games, what ends up happening is I, you know, first off, there's tech problems, right? So like it starts right. freezing, whatever. Right. So I, I get beat a few times, then I just don't even want to play anymore. Yeah. Uh, so what I do is I just do season mode. And in season mode, I've always wanted to be able to import all the stats and all yeah. the things that like are real. So I could like go against the like, you know, it's like fake make meets reality. Right. And finally with the apps you guys are building, it's, yeah. it's like a real thing. Like I can actually go out and play against sort of like the curve, play against what's really going on. Yeah, absolutely. So we're pulling in the real-time data, you know, the, the real-time stats, right? Every event, you know, football game, basketball game has thousands and thousands of events, right? How do you do that? Like, how does... So we, yeah, so we actually uh, license out the statistics um, and then our technology on the back end that we've built over the last probably year and a half has allowed us to kind of filter through those statistics um, and we create different types of games based on what those statistics are, right? So really super easy games. That's kind of how box score games, right? We take something from a box score and create a game out of it. That is awesome. I have to ask, how was this, like, how did this come to be? And what are your backgrounds? Like, who, right. how do you, yeah. I just like, this is a honest country. I used to go in and I would go into like the custom mode in the games and I'd change all the names or I'd like upload the new rosters. So we had like all the real people. And then I would immediately go and change all the numbers and attributes and things to like try to match right. roughly what reality is. Yeah, that's as far as my brain went. <laughs> you guys actually like created an actual game around it. We're like, oh, we can license this. We did, How because, do you do that? You know, we get, we started it because it was actually something we always did at like baseball games or at, you know Super Bowl parties. Is you play these like really simple games, like side games, side well, bets. Because you're right? drunk, so it's like right. You're drunk, and you know the problem was you get drunk and you you had a hard time keeping track of your actual stats, right? Yeah. So we actually had a game where we. Used to in the stadiums we'd bet on how many pitches were going to be thrown in a half inning of a baseball game super random no right? degenerates there <laughs> right There's no, no degenerates, degenerates at, all, right? at all so you're you know by the seventh inning the guy that's in charge of this you know keeping track of the the pitch count right you have no idea what it is he's like i don't know 24 right <laughs> so we're like hey you know, there's got to be a better digital solution, right? And you guys all, you know, you know this is, you know, that, you know, majority of people are constantly on their phone, right? Um, we use the stat that 85% of people are consistently on their phone during a live sporting event. It's probably higher than that. Oh, I'm sure. Right? So we said, hey, let's go create, you know, some of these games that we've already played on paper or in a cup or whatever it is. Let's put it on one platform. Right, that people can go to and play a game based on their location, based on their interests, uh, based on their time, you know, the time of the year, and, and have one central solution for people to play these types of games with their friends, uh, someone at the bar that they're sitting next to, you know, what have you, and, and kind of have this one brand box score to be able to kind of go do that. And so we spent a good amount of time building out the technology, figuring out how we're going to, you know, work with all these stats that are coming in and, and create something really simple and easy. And that's one of the things that we really focus on 
is we're not necessarily targeting that diehard sports fan. We know they're going to play our games because they're already watching the event. It's getting their two or three other friends that are just there to kind of watch the game or, you know, are a Bears fan but can't name five people on the team, right, that they can actually play the game as well. Uh, and it becomes this kind of social, um, you know, gathering uh, on your phone and playing with, you know, your friends. Well, I'm going to bring in Showbiz Shelley on this a little because yeah. I, I have to, no. I have to. I have to because uh, we talk about the social end of this, and she's got a segment that she's going to be coming up with in a second. And I just thought from a, from a female's standpoint, not just female, but, like, usually guys end up going to the game and they bring their girlfriend, and the girlfriend's just kind of like, all right, this I is. Say, I think Chicago is more of a girl sports town than definitely. any other town. Definitely. Because I have girlfriends who we were at the bar. They were so in on when the um, with the March Madness thing going yep. on. They're so in. They know all the teams. So they would love this. But what you just said it a minute yeah. ago about you like the Bears, but you can't name five people on the team, that's me. Right. And so this, for me, is something that I think – is great but like you say you have the guys who love the scores and i think they would like that too yeah absolutely so she is our target market yeah. so Hi. that's, that's why actually, we're before i leave she's going to sign up and play okay. we're gonna have her playing so we'll make this happen she okay. she is the target market right that will watch bears games hang out with her friends but want to you know sees you know her buddies that are hanging out have looking at their three different leagues that they're in and she's like what what is all of that i've been I don't asked against so that. many fantasy teams and i say no because i know it's a waste of my time i'm just going to do the automatic thing you know, or that just does it for you because I don't yeah. know what I'm doing and right. I don't know anyone who's good or bad. So. And, and you're so right about Chicago and female sports fans. Go to a, like a, a sports bar on a Saturday or Sunday. It's it's like at this point, I, I feel like it's like 70 to 80 percent female. Yeah. Right. And it's just amazing how. Well, the sports yeah. teams have done a really nice job accessorizing, I hear. That, that's, that's what I heard. It's <laughs> true. I, hear. I have some that's, really that's cute Cubs gear. I will tell you this with sequins. That's, and all that's kinds a big of stuff. part of it. It used to be like, oh, you throw this big bag. No, this is actually. That's an incredibly probably sexist remark that I just made. I, I apologize for it. But, it's okay. But, but no, but this, this is a real thing, actually, though, because uh, if you used to go back, I mean, think back like five years ago, even five years ago, the jerseys and everything was like small, medium, large, and it was just a boxy, baggy jersey. And girls would be like, I'm not wearing, like they borrow their boyfriend's jersey or they buy, they're not going to buy a jersey. I don't jersey. think it's sexist. I think it's very inclusive, right? I mean, Well, it is trying, now. Yeah, but it, now. But originally I felt like they would right. just, it was just like one size fits all and whatever. And now there's so many things for, for like for ladies to wear and pick out that it, it's like actually like, all right, now I get to look good and go out and drink. And I have a, a T-shirt that says Javi Bayez. That's very, it's cute. You don't get it? Oh, no, I get it. Oh, I get yeah, it. I love it. It's like my favorite T-shirt. So I'm just point. still just trying to process this in my head. I get it. <laughs> Are you writing it out? And yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's a box score game. Here we go. Yeah, right, right. Yeah. We might have to have that game, maybe use that game this summer. for. Yeah. So, yeah. so anyway, you've, you've got this thing going. Mm -hmm. I feel like this has got to be... Oh man, I mean MLB with their app, the MLB app is amazing. I feel mm -hmm. like this has got to be just tailor made for baseball and for the stadiums because, like, the NFL, NBA, meh. Yeah. The NFL's starting to get in it a little right. bit with like being a little bit more understanding and tech savvy with their people. The NBA I still feel like when you go to the game, it's like here's seventy five pieces of paper and cards that we're going to be playing on the big screen. I hope you're watching. Like, what a Right. It's just it's, weird. It's funny you say that. We were just invited to the Chicago Bulls brand summit uh, two weeks ago. They need you. Right. And, and and it was about, you know, they brought in all their advertisers and just really it was a you know first class event and you know just really educating them on what's going on in the, the sports marketing landscape. But it's funny because NBA yeah, does a good job. They do a great job. Like holistically. But in, I don't know, maybe it's just the Bulls. I don't know. But yeah. it just feels to me like baseball, which is funny because it's, of course, maybe yeah. they needed it the most because it's such a kind of boring game. You might be right. But and, they, they really signed on quickly to like getting people being able to digitally yeah. on the on the MLB app, be able to do all this stuff. Uh, how are you guys tying in with the pro sports teams? Or is this something that's more sort of like the fan finds out? So we first started with kind of just working with the fans. So we have two customers, right? First customer being the sports fan. And then we'll tie in, bring in some And then sponsors. Showbiz Shelley is the second <laughs> Right, right. That's the second <laughs> yes. one. We're going to have a whole division you knew that focused was coming. on her. I know, yeah. yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, so, you know, we haven't tied into any teams yet. We did just sign our first NBA player that's going to have his own game. In about two weeks, we're going to go live with it um, and give a little tease at what it is. It's actually going to be a trivia game that you actually get to go head to head with him. So it's going to be awesome. So he's going to be able to get on in our platform. Everyone will get no an alert. plugs on who this guy is. No, no, oh. not yet, not yet. So we're we're close to jersey kind of, number. Jersey, yeah, <laughs> right. it's between zero and seventy-two. Uh, so you know, we we've gone a different route of not necessarily partnering up 
with the teams and just just from we wanted to go kind of um, sports fan first um, because we wanted to get really creative in what we're doing right and and you know sometimes you can be a little bit kind of held back with how you can be creative and then you know then we want to kind of start yeah. working with the teams and say hey look at what we've done here and in one of our interesting stats that we we share a lot is on average someone will spend 11 minutes uh, in our game during a, a live event so for that three hour uh, event they're on our app for th- 11 minutes which in the mobile world is huge right so yeah, your instagrams crazy. are you know in the 30s and 30 that's got me i mean that's wow. that's insane yep. when you think about the 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 games that exist out there that you know you play 30 seconds roughly i mean most right. of them are zip zip like through well, like you just said attention spans are shrinking so that's huge and right. so you to have yeah, that absolutely. that's in, that's wow R- right so that's and that's kind of now that we're we're we're, we're kind of taking it a to the next step and say, hey, this is what we've learned. This is, hey, you want to reach people on your phone during live sporting events? Don't spend that, you know, 30 second commercial during Sunday night football if you want to reach someone on on their phone, right? This is what we're doing is we're, we're bringing that opportunity to some of these brands who, who want to be able to connect with people in, in an authentic way. So, you know, as we kind of go through the next step here, I, I think, you know, next fall, we'll probably start working with a couple of teams. Just this morning, I had a, a hockey team reach out to us um, that wants to set up a meeting. We're having a call tomorrow. So it, it's interesting. We didn't pursue the teams, but now we're getting a little bit of press about us. And they're starting to look at some other opportunities because I think some of their advertisers, their fans are looking for things like this. You know, what's funny. And I don't I don't know if you're going to agree with this. And I wish we had Chris still sitting on the mic because I'm sure he would definitely not agree with me. But uh uh, if you, th- <laughs> it's a good way to start. Th- whatever you're going to say, by the way. No, this is. If you come on our show more often, you'll recognize that this is how most things start with me. Like, I think this is something I'm going to say is wrong and terrible, but I'm going to say it anyway. I'm going to go anyway. Yeah. Uh, no, you know what's funny? I think that the attention span plus just the, I don't want to say sophistication because that's not the right word. It's the the everyone watches sports it's just so big now it's so much money i almost feel like we're heading back towards and this isn't a bad thing but we're heading back towards like minor league baseball do you remember back in the day when minor league baseball was like what kind of ploy what kind of trickery what kind of game what kind of gamesmanship what what kind of thing can we do for the fans like you know mug night is is not mug night like it's full of booze and there's some sort of contest like that was the fun kind of outlandish stuff they would do and i almost feel like we've gone so far and this is probably why espn's getting crushed so far in the sports development and reaching people all the way to show by Shelley and beyond that they're bored. I'm simply put, I can't, I don't have the attention span anymore to watch a bulls. Like the Hawks games. We're, so, I am blessed that I've been to like seven Hawks games and bulls games this year. And they're always in a skybox. And I'm telling you, I would say no, if it weren't in the skybox, because I can get hammered, <laughs> right. and, and just the dessert tray is awesome. <laughs> if now, this gr- might be a separate issue, by the yeah. way. I think you're going down this route that you just want to get hammered at these. Games. Well, no, I just <laughs> listen. This is my. I'm just coming out to tell everyone right now that this is my. No, no, no. But I see what you're saying. No. You, but like, I just. And it's not that I have to get hammered. I can drink yeah, soda pops too. Right. I mean, I don't. But <laughs> the, the point is, I'm bored with it. At the right. end of like, I either sk- like even. And it kind of sounds like I'm an alcoholic. Holy cow. <laughs> When I go to the Northwestern games, I go to the Northwestern games, go Cats. When I go to the Northwestern games, we end up just like, we'll call it tailgating. We're cooking. We cook for the first quarter and a half. Right. Because it's just like, you know, nothing's going to get decided at this point. Yeah. And I think that if I was going to the game and I had a game within the game that was tied to the game, I would pay attention. Exactly. So that's what, you know, we have a saying that, like, every play matters, right? It brings back the fan yes. into, like, paying attention rather than just the last two minutes of the game. I just think right? it's run out. Exactly. Because there's just so much content out there, yes. I think, too. There's just so much you can and follow. And most of any- it's crappy. Right. I agree with you. And so I think, you know, we're trying to tie into, like, hey, there's actually events going on at the game you know, that specifically might help you win something, so right, then, or be part of I it. I think that's such a great point. Because, yeah, when every time I go to a Cubs game, I can't even tell you, like, who's on the bait. I'm there, and I want them <laughs> to win, and I want them to do well, but I'm just not paying attention to every little detail of it. You know what I mean? A hundred percent. I look at this, and I just think, you know, to, the, to that whole point, imagine then with Chris with Sports Mockery, and imagine with box score. Mm-hmm. If I'm sitting here at the game, and I'm you, Showbiz, yeah. or I'm me, or I'm Sean, or any of these people sitting here, the sports fanatic has what he wants no matter what, right? The game is being played in front of him. If that's what your thing is, that's what your thing is. The person next to him might be a sports fan, but maybe casual. They have a game to play and something else to do. A person who might not actually care about the sports game, it's the actual gamesmanship mm-hmm. itself, but is a huge fan of the team, can look at, like on Sports Mockery, and read about the rumors and the trends and the things and all the little tweets and all the stuff that's going on. 
I think when we package this up, I think the future of all the sports consumption is you sitting here and Sean sitting here uh, and, and Chris sitting here, all these people being like really engulfed in the thing and no longer just reporting on the game itself. It's almost like the game is the reason we showed up, but right. that's yeah. not why we're here. Yeah, I agree with you. We want people playing our games at Home Depot while the Cubs, Cubs game's going on, right? That's, we want it to be that that play matters so much or that player statistics are happening you know, in the game live. Right? My last question for you before I let you head out of here is – um, what, what do you see? Cause this is, I really think you're on something huge here. I think this is a, obviously you can do box score and other stuff, games yep. and other stuff, but what is the next step for you guys to make this a, a big national thing? How, mm-hmm. how can you further, other than just live streaming the, the sporting stats, how can you further integrate into the professional sports viewing, watching, listening, game, playing, live or digital experience? Yeah, so that's a great question. So, you know, one of the things we just launched uh, was uh, a, a new camera filter within the game where you actually can put your face on a, an actual basketball uniform. And you can change your hair. You can do all these, you know, different types of things that actually puts you in the game. Yep. So we're actually trying to get to a point where you actually feel like you're part of the game, right? And so from, like, a national side of things is – we need to have that traction and you know we have a couple of things with this nba player coming up that allows us to you know nationally people kind of kind of see what we're doing and, and understand that hey this is really easy to play and i can play it with my friends but i think you know the next step for us is kind of a platform where i'm checking into it every single day because i'm getting so much content and i'm getting so much value of, of being part of the box score platform i could see this becoming like the next fantasy football type craze honestly just because again i go back to like the attention span Mm -hmm. you know like fantasy sports now i mean i remember the first couple times i did like a couple teams and then it's like one team and then it's like uh okay like you just get bored with it which is pathetic but true and now you know you saw the the influx of the daily span fantasy sports daily because people just like oh i just well mostly because they're gambling degenerates but (laughs) but there was definitely those who want it just daily and this is something like micro micro like this keeps my attention span for the next three minutes right exactly you're, yeah, I agree with you 100%. We are all going, I don't even know. I where. love it. This is, <laughs> yeah, right. this yeah, is awesome. This is great. Thank you so much for taking the time. Where Thank do people you. go to download the app and learn more so about it? So just go to boxscoregames.com and, or search in the iTunes store or Android store, uh, Box Score. And then I know you guys have the March Madness event coming up. Yep. Or it's still going on. So it's on. going on right now. Yep. So our, Yeah, so it's going well You know, with a lot of people playing during the game. So we have some games tonight. And for, at the end of it, they win. There's going to be a viewing party, I think, at some point. Yeah, so I think we are going to have a viewing party. I don't know specifically yep. where that is. Tom and right I started now. working on yeah, this. Yeah, I don't we know like, where you guys decided where We were doing the viewing party early, and we haven't yeah. figured out. <laughs> maybe I shouldn't go because you don't want me sitting there drinking. <laughs> right. It could be ridiculous. Right. <laughs> so yeah. We actually know where so it is. Scott. We just don't want to tell you. Yeah. <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> I feel like I just got like punked go, on my. Go to our show. website; it'll be there. But don't. Yeah. Or, or will that redirect me to helpline? One eight hundred helpline. That's hilarious. Holy cow! This is yeah. awesome. We have derailed. Oh, this right. is great. Thank you awesome. so much. Appreciate it.